So today you're going to need your weights as well as your exercise ball. So go ahead and make sure you have your stuff ready and we'll get started on your warm up. Okay, so as usual, we're gonna go ahead and start with those ankle circles. So a few rotations each direction. So make sure you stop and switch directions. Okay, other ankle, one way and the other direction. Okay, and then we'll go arm circles forward and backwards. Okay, and then we're gonna do little stretches, so just a forward lunge stretch, just nice and easy, nothing too deep yet. And then the other side. circles and back all right okay so now what we're going to do is grab your ball and start with legs on your ball we're going to be working the back of your legs for your hamstring so again I really want you guys to have your ball on a yoga mat just to make sure that it doesn't slip out from under you and we're going to be laying on your back, placing your heels on the center of the ball. So to modify, you can lift your bum, pull your legs in, push them out, and lower again in between each one. Advance, try to keep your bum up the whole time. Okay, so modify, lift your bum, pull it in, push it out, and drop your bum again. And then you can lift, pull, push, drop. So, so if that helps you to modify in the beginning, go ahead and do those. If not, then you can try keeping your bum up the whole time or as much as you can. Okay, so lift your bum, push your heels in as you pull the ball towards you and push back out. So breathing out as you pull towards you. and then you can lower. All right, so we are gonna come back to the ball, but first we're gonna work on your arms. We're gonna do some hammer curls. So this time you're keeping your palms facing each other rather than palms up. Okay, so grabbing your weights, always with free weights. You're gonna go hip width stance, soft knees, tight core, shoulders back, and the side, soft knees, tight core, shoulders back, and we're going to lift and lower. So keeping your palms facing each other. Front. Side. Okay, so now we're going to work on your upper back. So this part of your back here, we're going to make sure that that gets nice and firm and tight. 
and we're gonna do some bent over rows. So when you are bending over, making sure to keep your back nice and straight and flat. So you don't wanna round your back. So nice, straight, flat back. Bum goes out, knees are soft, and you're gonna stay in that position. So nice, tight core, back stays straight as you can. So just no rounding over. So no rounding, nice flat back. So go ahead and grab your weight. So bent over rows, soft knees, bum out, flat back. You're gonna reach out in front of you, using your back to pull and release. So you're keeping your elbows at your sides. Breathe out, pull. Breathe in, release. For flies, we're going to be working the side of your chest, this little part here, and you're going to be on the ball, making sure your head is supported by the ball. You're going to open up your arms out to the sides and bring them back together. So always keeping your elbows soft. Don't straighten and lock out your arms when you're out here. We don't want to hyperextend your elbow. So keep your elbows soft and only open up your arms as feels comfortable for your shoulders and chest and elbows too, of course. So of course for flies, you want to make sure that you walk yourself forward until your head is supported by the ball and then you're going to bring your weights up. Keep your core tight, lift your bum and focus on your chest. Okay, so core is nice and tight and your head is supported. Elbows are soft, open up to the side and bring them back up. So inhale down, exhale up. yourself backwards until you're sitting back up on the ball. Okay, lifting that weight up overhead, capping it equally in both hands, and exhale as you extend it up. So cup it in both hands equally, core nice and tight, lower, exhale as you lift. So from the side, okay, so from the side, keeping your feet wide for stability, lift, up, take core, breathe in down, breathe out up. And just bring that back down and there you go so for shoulders you're gonna need both weights okay so shoulder press okay so for shoulders we're going to be seated on your ball core is nice and tight feet are a little bit wide for stability we're gonna lift up roughly by your ears and extend all the way up so breathing out as you extend make sure you don't over arch your back so keep your back and core nice and tight and engaged Okay, nice tight core, engage your back as well. Lift those to bow your ears, exhale up, inhale down.
good job. Okay, so, so now that we, we're actually done with the weights on your ball, we're gonna set them aside, but we're gonna go ahead and do some ab work on your ball. So for ab work, we're gonna start with doing straight crunches, and then we're gonna do some alternating sides, get a little bit of those obliques in as well, and then we're gonna hop onto the floor and do some scissor legs. So, Again, you're on your ball, but this time you're only going to take a couple steps until your lower back is supported and supporting the weight of your head, but never pulling on your head or neck. You're just going to crunch up and come down. Stretch out a little bit if you like. Okay, so now same thing, but we're alternating sides. So showing you a little bit from okay, the front. So a couple steps until you can just support your lower back on the ball, not pulling on your head or neck. Up to the opposite side and down, alternating sides. if you like. Okay, so now you're just going to need a spot on the mat. Okay, so you're on your sit bones and we're going to put your hands behind you, keep your core nice and tight, you're going to lean back and we'll do some modified scissor legs, our knees in. like you can do a little bit more we're gonna straighten your legs but if you're not ready for this that's okay we'll work on them and then you can come forward and straight forward stretch your back Okay, so since you are already on the floor, we're going to do a couple little stretches starting with your legs on the floor. So we're going to lay back and we'll just do a couple spinal rolls first. So giving your knees a hug, we're just going to pull forward, roll back. And then you can pull one knee to your chest. And then you're gonna take that knee, hold it out to the side. And bring it across your body towards the floor and then turn and look behind you. Back to center and we'll straighten out. Then we're gonna do the other leg, pulling it in. And when you're ready, out to the side and across your body, turn and look behind you. Back to center. Now both knees come in, and then you're gonna cross one leg over the other, reach through that one leg and pull towards you. And then we're gonna switch legs, so reaching through, pull towards, and you're gonna feel a nice little stretch in there. Okay. Now we can come up to sitting, just put the soles of your feet together and relax your knees out to the sides. Okay, and then you can straighten your legs out and we're just going to reach out in front of you. So 
just trying to bring your ribs to your legs. So we'll just stand up and do the rest of your stretches. So flat hand on a wall, turning away. And biceps. Okay. Other side chest. out those abs and come down shoulders roll back nice tight core chin up and shoulders back okay good job you guys